Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com on understanding the different types of user registrations that you can set up on your .NET Nook website. So here's a pretty standard .NET Nook installation, uh, the default installation. Let's log in to the backend as either host or admin because this configuration is uh, portal uh, in, a, in a portal level, not in the host level, but I'll just log in as host. And to see the registration settings, I can go to admin, site settings, because again, it's a, it's site, uh, in a, it's, it's in a site level, not in a host level. Now, I can go to the advanced settings, and here I see user registration, and we have four options. So the default option in every installation of DNN is public. What does it mean, public? Public means that if someone tries to register to your site, they will gain access right away. They will gain the, the, the user registered access right away without any sort of validation, any email validation, any, I mean, you don't need to, to, to approve that or not. You, they'll just get it access right away. This is for the public, and this is the default setting. Now, we still have three other settings. The first one is none. None basically will not allow any user to register to the, to the website. So, uh, for instance, right now, uh, if I see the website as a, as a regular user, I'll be able to click on register, and, and I can register to the website. For instance, if I, if I log out here, I can click register, and register to the website. So if that option of none is selected, then see that's what happens when you try to do multiple things at the same time. Let me put the password. So here we have. So let's go back there. The standard uh, option we we'll always show registration there, but if none is selected, and I'm going to select that, click update, and I'm going to log out just to prove my point. So there's no longer a registration uh, option in the skin, and even if I click login, there is not uh, there there is no registration option here because again you selected as as none. Let's go back there. Now let's go to admin site settings and under advanced settings. So this is none. So we covered none and public. Now private. What does it mean private? Private basically uh, will will set up uh, the user registration the way that people can register but the uh, admin of the website needs to approve the access for that person. So let's give it a shot here. Let's select private and let's click update. Again, this is running from my local system. Let's log out and let's try to rush to the website as a test. One, two, three. So let's put just a test email here because I, I don't care about receiving emails, this, at least not in this tutorial. So let's click register. Now, here's what it says. The user, the administration of, uh, administrator of the website will receive an email saying that there is a new user that wants to register to the website. And uh, myself, as the user that tried to register, I will receive this email that will basically say, your account details will be reviewed by the portal administrator and you will receive a notification upon, acti uh, upon um, account activation. Now, what the administrator will have to do is, the administrator will have to Log into the website and I will be logged in and you have to go to admin, users, user accounts. So here's the test account, but as you can see, it's not authorized yet. So let's edit this user and click authorize user. What will happen here is that this user is not, is now authorized to log into the website and see maybe restricted areas in the website. And the user will also receive an email saying that he is now authorized to log into the website. So this is the third uh, type of user registration, which is, again, let's go back to site settings. 
admin admin settings user registration so this is a private one now the very last one is a verified one so let's select that and just click update so this option basically the way it works at least as far as i can see is more so to avoid uh spam registration because it will require the user to verify that he that that email really belongs to him because he will get an email once he tries to register to the website uh, the user will get an email that says something like this uh, again just uh, letting him know that he is registered but now he needs to click the link again this is a link to another site that I just did a, a test there and he needs to enter the verification code uh, Okay, I need to log out here because I'm logged in. Let's try that again. So let me click there. Now, again, the verification code was already put in place. I just need to put the password that was that I have set up. And by doing so, what will be happening is that you will be verifying that your account is legit. Is legit. So again, just for the sake of test here. My password is the same as the username. Verification code is here. So if I click login, now I'm verified and I was able to log into the website. So this is basically the fourth option that we have uh, in terms of user registration, which is the verified option. Again, this was a video just covering the different, the four different types of user registration from none to private uh, that the, the user administration the administrator user needs to verif to approve public which doesn't require any verification nor any approval and the verified option which does verify if the user is what he's saying he is in terms of the email address okay thank you very much bye